Hello guys, Otter Sam here, and today is my first episode ever of Game Dev Tycoon. Game Dev Tycoon is a simulation game of being a businessman in the game development industry, starting from early years of game development in the 1980s, all the way through the 35 years up to today, and expand to the future for your company to make it good. Now, I've never been always successful in this game, I don't know, I just... But I think I finally got the hang of it, and today I will show you. I already named my company, it's called Inner Debt, trying to make fun of uh, Interplay. And um, my guy, well, actually forgot about what I called him, actually, but I will probably see him later on. Actually, I think you can check his name. Uh, can't, whatever. A lot of monthly calls, it's annoying. Project. Platform. It is unknown, and obviously we're gonna go PC. Genre. First, let's check the topic. What do we got? We got dungeon music, hunting, and history. I think it'd be good to make a history game. A genre. Action. I'd say adventure. What should we call it? I think we should call it. The Great. No, I think we should call it Great. The Great Boom. No, The Boom. The Boom. Yep, The Boom. We're doing that. The Boom. There we go. Next. Obviously, it's going to be 2D. Start development. There we go. We are starting. Stage development. I. Th We're going to go a bit higher on the engine. I don't think we should go too high because that's our first game. Gameplay a little higher, story quest a little higher as well. That's good. Should balance it out. Already bugs. No. Okay, stage two. What should we do? Level design should be pretty high. Artificial intelligence because it's looking to be a lot. Dialogue should be really up because it's like a history game, right? You want it to be very good. Not too many bugs yet. Huh. 2D graphic, basic sound. Yeah, I'm sure basic sound. Stage three, sound design should be a bit higher up. Graphic should be a bit higher up. World design is gonna be huge. Shit. How about we balance them up? See if it's better. Yeah, that should be good. Yup. Try to get those bugs out. I don't like them bugs. Yup, finish. Let's see what we got out of this. New topic. New combo. Ah, uh, didn't really get much. Oh, that was his name. I called him Deucing. Yup. That's the thing. Yup. Game review. Hope it's good. Pray. Oh, I see an eight. Uninspiring. Well, then show me what topics were good out there. Okay. Huh. We did not that bad. Falls a bit short. Ooh, five. Meh. Okay. That was okay, right? It's our first game. Hey, it's pretty good for first game. A newcomer! Inner Debt is a newcomer and the game industry has just released their first game, The Boom. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious to see what Inner Debt will live in the future. Yes, Inner Debt. Trying to make fun of Interplay because they went in massive debt, as you know. But they're surprisingly still around. But sad they're doing Android smartphone games. And I add an XT for misspelling to make it look like it's a really bad company. I don't know. Oh, Interplay was good, but it sucks that they went down. 1,520 units sold in the first week. Not that bad. Not that, not too shabby. Let's just see what we do, what we get from the money first. Because Deucin here is doing really good for his first try. Let's just see what we get. Not that bad. Got 3.1 grand right there. Monthly costs. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Pretty good. 
pretty good. We're making back the same amount of money we had being before the stupid monthly costs. Oh, monthly costs! Yeah, we made a little bit of profit, and we just lost. The stupid monthly costs. It is now off the market. Sold 5,786 units, getting $40,544 in dollars in sales. Not too shabby. Industry news. Recent market studies suggest that the Kava Kava drawers G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. As you know, it's making fun of the Commodore 64. Yup. Or the Commodore C64. I don't know. Experts say that it might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Nope, it didn't. As you know in real life, it didn't. Not too shabby. I made a few, made a few hundred in profits. Do research. New topic. Sci-fi government transport rhythm. How about sci-fi? Yup, doing it. Monthly costs. Cost you. Successfully research sci fi. Let's do another game, shall we? Develop new game. We're taking the PC, obviously. I want to do a dungeon game. Genre. It's gonna be RPG. Yes. We're gonna call it Dun. No, we're gonna just gonna call it Homie G's in the Dark. Yes. Okay. Ho. Oh, oops. <sighs> so bad today. Homie. That's uh, so dumb. I misspelled, okay. Homie G's in the dark. Ah, she's wrong today. There we go. Next. Yup, start development. Yep, I have to. S yep, I'm singing. Deal with it. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of that when I do my follow. Let's play. Oh, not too shabby. We're running a little low on cash there. According to rumors, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nintendo is known widely for the success arcade game Dinky King. Dinky King making fun of Donkey Kong, and Nintendo, well, is Nintendo. Many experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. Yes, quite. Rather. Yup, this is it's going good here. Well, I hope it is. Oh, tired. Early morning. Early morning start. It's gonna be a little lower budget game, and we are in the debt. Ah, so many bugs. Get rid of them. Stupid goddamn bugs. Finish. New records in both design and technology. Not bad. Still didn't get much though. Doing better, but still not much. <laughs> do sin. I feel like I might do bad on this company. Your bank account is running in the red. I know that.
Homie G's in the dark. Oh, we had a nine. We had a nine. It has its moments. Oh, this guy's gonna be shit on me. Curse you, get informed gamer. Curse you, game hero. We did worse on this game. That sucks. Yeah. It's good. This game's amazing, but it's, it's pretty hard. I'm out of debt. The monthly cost is going Today, Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release the new home gaming console called TES early next year. The console features cartridge based games and a uniquely designed controller. Ninvento, as I told you, Nintendo, and the TES making fun of the NES Nintendo Entertainment System. We all know the history. We all know it well. Continue. Shall we? I have zero fans, that's not good. Develop How about we develop a new game out of start? Platform, obviously PC. Topic, we're gonna try sci-fi. Genre? Sci-fi RPG. Let's do it. I'm gonna call it Eva of Doom. Eva of the Doom. The Doom. No, Eva of. Eva of the imp no ah oh, I had an imp good okay Eva of oh uh, Eva of 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 planet pla 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 no just write Eva of Eva Queen. Queen of Eva of no. Okay, Eva Queen, not Eva of Queen. Eva Queen of Mars. Yes. Yes, let's do it. Next. Yup. And I think this will be the last game we'll do for today's episode. Yup. Heh <laughs> Eva. <laughs> Homie, jeez. It's out the market. Hey, it did better than your game, eh? Yeah. Eva, queen, <laughs> of Mars. Wonder if she's looking to, uh, you know, color Nate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, let's move on. I need a shit ton of where I feel like she's telling me there's a shit ton of dialogue. Stop scratching your head, Doosan! We need to do some shit here! Wow, it's going really fast. Yes, Doosan! Doosan it up! Yeah. Not too much sound. We need good graphics. Good world design. Yup. Done. Get them. Then today, new news platforms TS by Ninvento has been released. That's good. Get them bugs out of there. Finished. New record in technology. Well, hadn't changed much here. Poor Dusen. Still struggling in the game market with inner debt. Why the ball's not released the game? <laughs> First reviews of Eva Queen of Mars came in. Oof, I feel it's gonna be bad. 
Uh, maybe not that bad. Ooh, we had a seven! Sci-fi and RPGs is a great combination. Well, looks like I'll do more. Huh, this game must be my best game yet. It is. Wow. Not too shabby, Doosan. Not too shabby. Let's just see the reports of this game, see how good it is. Eva, Queen of Mars, was so successful that we now have eight fans. Yay! Contractor, it's hot there. I've just finished Eva, Queen of Mars, and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business, and would like to use your skills skills like yours. If you ever show on cash, just let me know and we see if we have work for you, Jason. Okay, Jason. <laughs> we be doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. Eva, the Queen of Mars. Roving in her UFO and going in them planets and doing that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a debt. Getting that money for in a debt. Yes. Doosan be creating more Eva Queen of Mars comics while making the game. And he's doing, yes, he'll be, yes, he's doing comics for it. Yes, yup, yup, yup. Yeah, doing pretty good. Game off the market. Eva Queen of Mars is now off the market. It sold 9,821 units, gathering $68,775 in sales. Not too shabby. Oh, monthly cost. Okay, guys, I think today this will be the last. Well, uh, this will be the end of episode one of my let's play of Game Dev Tycoon. We will continue. And. Yup. So. Till next episode, guys.